that everything just kind of stopped when this show came on. We had the drinks in our hands. Maybe someone's pouring more drinks. All we know is there was a program, a documentary of hope, of eloquence for the human race such as I had never heard before or since. For the first and only time in my life, mail arrived not in bundles, but in bags. A week later, it was rebroadcast, but it was shared by several networks. It was so popular that the rebroadcast was carried on stations beyond just CBS network stations. It was much more than I expected. I didn't know what I had. This is a boy's life we're talking about. Get on your feet. We're walking to the car. I've got to go to work. Uh, if you're fundraising, I've already given, so... Um, Ms. Morrison, I'm actually up calling about your mother, Grace Morrison. I am so sorry. What? Uh, your mother uh, passed away three days ago here at the hospital. She suffered a massive heart attack. By the time I actually got to see her, it, it, was, uh, it was too late. It took us quite a while to find your number. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. We have things in this city that other cities would kill for, and we haven't been able to develop it or to materialize it. Cleveland was at the forefront of everything. I mean, manufacturing steel, automobiles. I mean, what has come out of Cleveland has, has helped build America. And, um, and we got to get back to, to those roots. And, and again, it's, it's about the basics, getting back to basics. Cleveland has money. What we now have is a community that is um, number one in poverty, approaching 50% of the people living in the city in poverty. I've talked to many young people who say they don't expect to live, they'll live beyond 21 or 18 or 25, pick an age. That's scary. That means that they have no hope. And I think the larger society doesn't often have a clue as to how these things are happening. Because I think politically, uh, it's very easy, extremely easy, to not see it.
Why? Man? What the fuck's going on? Nilas Kieran. I'm kidding. Nilas Kieran? He doesn't want it? Fuck! Fuck! Miss Penny's dance school for 25 years between here and Chicago. The first disco number that my son Bob and Michelle did was to tell the story of the harvest. First the growing of asparagus and then the picking of the asparagus and the selling of asparagus and the jubilation and then the Saturday Night Stalk, right? That's the asparagus. 